Are you trying to figure out if the Apple Watch Ultra is worth the extra money? In reality, the Series 8 probably makes more sense, but the Ultra looks cool and it brings some new features to the Apple Watch that weren't there before. So I'm gonna share with you my experience after using this for the past five months and why you may wanna go with one, but make sure to stay the end because this watch isn't for everybody. You might wanna stick with the Series 8. The Apple Watch Ultra is impressive and expensive. It looks cool, it's got bigger battery, but is that enough to spend almost twice as much as an aluminum Series 8? I did make a video on why you should not buy the Apple Watch Ultra Ultra. Uh, that is one of my most disliked videos. I definitely upset some of the Apple Watch Ultra fans. I think it's a pretty balanced video. I said some good stuff about the watch and I said some bad stuff about the watch. At the end of the day, I stand by everything I said in it. I think all of it is still true. Personally, I love this watch, but I don't think it's the right watch for most people. Now go with me on this. Think about all your family, friends, coworkers, all of them. How many of them should be really go and get the Apple? watch ultra that's all i'm saying not a lot of grandmas out there are probably going to want to rock this thing the ones that do though are pretty awesome now let's talk about that 799 dollars price tag apple markets this as a sports watch for adventurers who need extra battery of life to do all this stuff i think it's a watch that's meant for anyone who wants more out of their watch whatever that may mean you want to exercise more you want to just utilize more of the features streaming music using the gps uh, cellular any of that stuff it just offers you more you don't get a whole different experience out of the apple watch you just get a bigger experience if that makes sense now let's talk about the design of the ultra it is definitely a love it or hate it type thing it is a big chunky watch i personally love the look of it i like the titanium finish the squared off designs the flat screen is awesome i really hope apple adopts this look and design for the series 9 just hopefully thinner maybe squared off a little more overall i think it looks great i don't like the orange on it i know it's like international safety orange and it's great to have or when you're stranded on the side of a mountain and you need an emergency evac it'll help the helicopter find you or something i don't know but for the rest of us it just may be an annoying detail something i always forget that's on this watch is that it has an 86 decibel siren there is a new action button on this i like the idea of the action button but it's limited to one of eight choices unfortunately you can't pick whatever complications you want the choice i made was flashlight so i could just press a button and it turns the flashlight on which is super convenient i think that button would be so much better if you could just pick anything you want to launch with it the apple watch ultra is meant to be a rugged strong sports watch that can take getting knocked around it can handle it because it has a titanium body and a sapphire crystal display that sapphire crystal doesn't crack or scratch as easily as Gorilla Glass does. The titanium isn't going to dent or ding like the aluminum Apple watches are. In my previous Ultra video, I didn't really think as much about the durability because I hadn't had really any problems with cracking or denting the aluminum Apple watches. After hearing from folks in the comments on my last Ultra video, I have a better understanding of the value of the durability of this device. There are folks who reached out who had told me they had chewed up and uh, spit out some of these aluminum apple watches if you're one of those folks let us know in the comment section how did you destroy your apple watch a lot of those people who wanted a more durable watch went with the stainless steel model that offered nothing more than a stronger case and crystal than this with the ultra for a hundred dollars more you get the strength of the stainless steel version and some other cool features i would say if you have a job or a hobby that you use your hands and you're worried about your watch getting beat up this could be a great option. One of the biggest upgrades to the Ultra is having twice the battery life. So if you're someone who's had battery anxiety with previous Apple Watches, this one will be a good upgrade for you. This is definitely a solid two-day device. Three days would be pushing it. What's great with this and newer Apple Watches is you do have the quick charge feature. So if in the morning you take it off after using it for sleep tracking, put it on the charger, it'll uh, top it off nicely. Worst case, if 
you're not able to uh, charge it quickly or you forget, you can get a whole nother day out of it. Now what I found with my Series 8 and other Apple Watches is that the 18 hour battery life rating is enough 98% of the time. It's good for workouts, streaming some stuff off of it, but there are those times that let's say I'm out with the family somewhere, or we're traveling or at an amusement park and you wanna track a workout all day uh, to see how far you end up walking around. You can't do that because long workouts will just burn through the battery on this. And let's say you wanna stream music or something over cellular, you're gonna burn through the battery on this. With the Ultra though, you can leave your watch running all day for a, for a workout or stream music to it and know you're gonna make it the whole day. The Ultra opens up more GPS and cellular uses. I like also that with that battery life, I can stream some music or podcast directly from the watch to a set of AirPods. Now with this extra battery life, you could really take advantage of cellular. I made a video on using the Apple Watch on cellular only, and I was surprised how long it made it. I don't want to spoil it, but you could check out that video down in the description. Also put links to the uh, Apple Watch Ultra down there. While you're looking at that stuff in the description, why not hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss the next one of these videos. Now, since my last Apple Watch Ultra video, I've heard from a lot of people who had told me about how cellular comes in key for them because they're not able to carry their phone with them at work. Now with the Apple Watch Ultra having that additional battery life, you don't have to worry that if you are on cellular and away from your phone, that the watch isn't gonna make it the whole day. Now you can really take advantage of those cellular features and ditch the phone and continue to be able to listen to some music or podcast. After doing a whole day using the watch only on cellular, it was cool to see that I could take advantage of all these features that are available without my phone and not have to worry about the watch dying on me later in the day. The Ultra includes cellular, but you don't have to activate it. It will still be active though if it's needed in the case of an emergency. So for crash detection, it can use cellular to contact 911. If you're having an emergency, you can contact help even without a cellular plan. I do recommend getting a cellular plan. And again, I'll put a video down in the description on the real reasons why you might wanna go a cellular. So another reason you might be considering going for this watch is the display. It is a nice looking display. I do like this new flat design. I think it's much better to interact with, especially since watches like the Series 8 have really taken the screen right to the edge with minimal bezels. So having that flat display, I think it's just better to interact with. With. This is up to twice as bright as previous Apple Watches. Indoors, it looks the same and you're not gonna see that extra brightness. Now, one thing I wanna clear up in these videos, people see the 49 millimeter size of this watch and 45 millimeter size of the Series 8. Those are case sizes only. That is not screen size. This has bezels and the wider case that takes it to 49 millimeters. When it comes to the actual screen size, it's only a difference of 18 pixels by 14 pixels. That's not a huge difference. So looking at these pictures side by side, you'll see that if you were gonna buy this watch just for larger apps and text, it's not that big of a difference. Things look very similar between the 8 and the Ultra. Now, if you're outside a lot with your Apple Watch and you found that's just not that bright, this could make a big difference for you. As for processing and performance, this acts the same as a Series 8, the latest SE, the Series 7, Series 6, Series 5, Series 4. There hasn't been a big change in performance on these Apple Watches over the last few years, so you definitely don't want to get this thinking you're going to get a faster Apple Watch, because it uses the same processor as the Series 8 and the SE. Now for my recommendations, Apple markets this as a sports watch for extremes from diving to climbing whatever but you don't have to be an athlete to appreciate this watch i think this watch is meant for people who just want a little more out of their apple watch whether it be just a stronger watch that they won't destroy more battery life so it can handle a longer workout and some more phone calls or just not having to charge your watch as much this can help you so if you're looking for that durability battery life or just a cool looking watch you're not going to go wrong with this. If you're someone who's owned the stainless
stainless steel watches. This is a no-brainer if you're thinking about upgrading. For slightly more than a stainless steel model, you get twice the battery life and a whole new design with some other features. Now, if the Apple Watch Ultra still seems way too expensive, well, it is. And I don't want you to feel like you're missing out on something if you go with the Series 8 or the SE. From a performance standpoint, you're gonna get the same things out of the Series 8 or the SE. You're just not gonna get that extra battery life out of it. And you have the old design, but the apps are gonna look the same. Your performance is gonna be the same, and it's gonna be gentler on your wallet. I know that for me, this watch is overkill. I don't take advantage of all the battery life out of it. I'm not on cellular all the time or doing long workouts. I love the look of it, and the battery life is nice, but really, I could easily just stick with the Series 8 instead. So you're not gonna go wrong with any of the Apple Watches that are out right now. Now, if you're still not sure about the Apple Watch Ultra, check out this video over here to see why you should not buy it. I give you the good reasons and the bad reasons. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.